Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is HandmadeInVermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Ford chandelier called the Aegeus. This is the 10-12-63. This is a five-arm chandelier with a bottom bowl, which makes it a um, gives a, a bit more of a volume compared to the other um, Aegeus chandelier, the other five arms. So why don't we get into it? This is the 10-12-63. It's uh, 30.1 inches, and that's going to be the distance from the bottom of the bowl, the glass bowl, which is the very bottom of this, to where the chain starts. And there's a welded loop at the top, and then your chain goes up from there. Uh, the diameter is 31.3. That's going to be a glass-to-glass -glass measurement. Why don't we get into what this ships with? So. Chandeliers generally are going to ship with 36 inches of chain, 15 feet of wire, and the canopy kit that goes up on your ceiling, and that's going to go over a standard 4-inch junction box like this. And if you do need more chain, we do sell additional chain. Let's say you're hanging this from a second story or a cathedral ceiling. So additional chain is, is coming in 36-inch long increments. There's a seam that unchained, so it opens up, and you can put these things together pretty easily. So, just call us if you need more chain, basically. Uh, moving on, uh, why don't we talk about the glass on this. So you have um, your five arms with the glass bowls and then your large center bowl underneath. So you're going to have three different types of glass available for this. And these are my types here, but we know they're bowls, not these shapes. So opal is a bright white. It's the most crisp, contemporary look. And then it warms up a little bit when the light's coming through, but when it's off, it's definitely going to be a bright white, crisp white. This is pearl. Pearl's an off-white that warms to a vanilla yogurt, has a slight swirly pattern in it, and it's kind of a, like I said, it's a, like a, a lemony yogurt when it's on, and those swirls are pretty evident. When it's off, it's really just kind of a linen color, and you can see the two side by side. So, moving on from there, we have stone. Stone is going to be like a beige Vermont marble, has little striations in it and when you go in, at the end of this video there's a picture of the building I'm in and it's it's a aged 200 year old marble building and it looks exactly like this so and remember the bowls of glass are hand blown so there's always going to be a range of variants in the stone glass but it's going to be the more rustic one so kind of keep that in mind so it's going to go contemporary it's going to go transitional and then it's going to go with your kind of rustic look after that and this will amber up quite a bit so moving on from glass, why don't we talk about lamping in this. So Hubberton Forge says that this ships with a G9 halogen socket. In reality, it ships with a G9 socket. A lot of these fixtures in, in this uh, halogen, I'm sorry, in this G9 socket was really just a halogen uh, halogen socket a long time ago, but now you can put LEDs in this. So this is going to ship with uh, a number of these 60 watt bulbs and there's going to be one in each of the bowls and then it's also going to ship with a bunch of these and these are uh, they're, they snap on to the top, they actually screw on over the socket and they are diffusers and what they do is if you're looking down from the second story <clears throat> you won't see the glare of the light bulb, it's going to diffuse the light but they also keep dust off of the light bulb. And the one thing is that halogen bulbs don't like, they don't like dust, and they also don't like people handling them like this. So when you're handling halogen bulbs with your bare hands, the oils in your hands get on the bulb, which will cause it to, to die out long, uh, well before it should. So kind of keep that in mind. Use a little tissue when you're handling them. If you guys want to go LEDs, <clears throat> there are LEDs out in the marketplace, all kinds of them that are available that will fit into this. So don't be afraid to experiment a bit. Just go on to Amazon or like a Thousand and One Bulbs or any of those websites and or just Google G9 LED and all of these things will pop up. You can do your research and you can see the color temperatures you guys like. Are they dimmable? All those things. But as long as it's a G9, it will fit into that socket pretty well. And then you don't actually have to use this if you don't want to. You could probably still use it just to cut the glare a little bit. But this little diffuser will also cut some of the lumens coming out. So if you can get away with not using it, you'll get a bit more brightness. And as a halogen, if, if you want to use this with the halogen bulbs, very dimmable, goes great. If you want to use it with the LEDs, make sure your dimmer on the wall is set up to uh, work with LEDs. So very user-friendly, and technology is your friend on this, so it's getting better and better and better. And there you go. So why don't we move on to... Uh, one little tidbit, it's 31 pounds, uh, that's your hanging weight on this, so just something you should know if, depending on how you're going to be attaching this to your building or your house. Let's get into metal finishes. So, on our website, handmadeinvermont.com, midway down, left hand side, there's a finishes help guide. Give that a click for me. 
Once you get in there, there's going to be a video at the top that's going to be me talking to you about the differences between translucent finishes and opaque powder coat finishes and how they look on heavy forging. That's the real important thing here. Scroll down a little bit and you're going to see a, a chart and that chart is going to have all the finishes this can come in. The letter A will be on some of the pictures, the letter B will be on some of the pictures. There's a range of variants on heavy forging including weather related stuff like humidity in the air. That's all going to be talked about in that video. So it's important to kind of bounce back between the video and that chart. You can also click on the chart and it's going to show you um, lots of different things and whatever you just clicked in like burnished steel or dark smoke under different lighting conditions and you know day and night kind of stuff. So um, that will get you through your finishes. Um, after that why don't we talk about our showroom because we actually have um, the smaller Oh, actually, I take it back. Um, we have two. Uh, we have the three light and the five light. We don't have the one with the bottom bowl um, for the Aegeus spout. Um, we do have enough of the Aegeuses here to show you. We have over 350 Hubbardton Forge fixtures here in our showroom. We have a what's on display button and a whole page on our website. So you can see what's here before you guys ever come here. Showroom is open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. You can call us every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern, and I am here to answer questions for you. In addition to the showroom, awesome showroom, we have a great clearance center. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. Discontinued stuff, showroom samples, and uh, returns, and that stuff you can kind of walk right out the door with. So that's always a, a good thing to come come check out. When you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from Handmade in Vermont, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if you ship out of the state of Vermont. Vermont, And uh, we have 90-day returns and no restocking fees. Details are on our site. If you need this faster than Hubbardton Forge's normal three to four week lead time, we do offer a rush program. So just contact me for that information. It, we can generally cut the time in half. And it's, it's not expensive. So something you're just going to drop a quick email, sales at handmadeinvermont.com, and we spell out the word Vermont, or you can give a call, 802-446-2400, and we can talk about that. And, and, and any other questions you guys have. So um, we'd love to talk to you. Showroom is awesome. Come visit us, and thanks for stopping in today. Take care. Bye-bye.